up and welcome to my channel. I'm a first year physics PhD student living in New York City. And today's video is all about my first semester recap of my physics PhD school. So if you're interested in physics PhD life or in general PhD life, then stay tuned and this is for you. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my semester structure. So in my school, the PhD semester starts somewhere from late August and lasts somewhere to mid-late December. We are given orientation and advisement from our executive officers to decide on the classes that we will take this semester. And these classes are usually the same for the entire incoming class. But however, if you do have a master's degree that they recognize, we're able to skip those classes and move on to a more exciting class like quantum field theory. So additionally, a new thing that my school started this year was the option to take the qualifiers before the class starting. Qualifiers are the comprehensive exams that every first year student needs to take after their first year and pass them in order to remain in the program. So if you pass a subject qualifier, you're able to move on and take an exciting class like quantum field theory, general relativity, and many more other options. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about are my classes and their syllabus. So usually your first year classes consist of the ones that they will prepare you for the qualifier exams. Then based on my executive officer's advice, these are the classes that I took. They are quantum mechanics one, which is a part one of the two semester course, analytical dynamics, which is basically like classical mechanics, mathematical methods and physics, um, a research rotation class where I'm supposed to rotate with the professor's team and learn more about the research and a research seminar class where professors would come and give a lecture about their project and their research and it would give us more insight whether we want to work with that professor or not. So what did I think about quantum mechanics? Quantum mechanics was very robust for me and we followed a lot of different textbooks in class. We started somewhere from early 1900s of quantum mechanics and ended up in hydrogen atom. I thought quantum mechanics was very hard in undergraduate so I didn't really feel prepared for a graduate quantum mechanics class but my professor was great and I really um, caught up quickly and was able to solve and understand a lot of the problems of like angular momentum, spin angular momentum, addition of angular momentum, which are very, very useful. The one recommendation that I do have is to brush up your linear algebra and your direct notation, because that's going to be very, very handy for the class. So what do you think about analytical dynamics? Analytical dynamics is basically like classical mechanics, and we spend the entire course doing Lagrangian mechanics, and then we touched upon Hamiltonian dynamics at the very end. I would say that this class was quite tricky for me and I struggled a lot with the identification of generalized coordinates rather than the actual mechanics of the problem. But doing the homework and solving as much problems from a ton of different textbooks really helped me. And I was able to pass this course with a good grade, so I'm quite happy with it. So what do I think about mathematical methods? Mathematical methods was my least favorite class in graduate school. And I think it has to do a lot with that I'm not interested in theoretical physics and a lot of my cohorts are interested in theoretical physics and the professor is also a theoretical physicist. So he really led the class with a theoretical physics point of view and I was not interested in most of the problems and they seemed uninteresting to my research. So I didn't have a personal motivation to do better in this class. I think I performed the poorest in this class and I did not learn as much. But I passed my class so I'm very happy and I want to move on. <laughs> What I wish I had done differently. I wish I had given my classes more time and studied every day rather than the days that I was just free. I wish I had spent more time on my classes rather than the lab. Other first year physics PhD students are not required to do research or work in a lab. However, since I connected with my research advisor very early on, like the summer before starting my graduate school, I wanted to stay and learn more about the research so I continued working with her and thus giving my time to lab and to studies. And this has been quite challenging. Also, I think knowing the topics that will be discussed beforehand in class is super important so I could have prepared even better. I wish I had gone to professor's office hours and asked for help rather than suffered by myself. What I want to do next semester. Next semester, definitely I want to give more time to my classes rather than lab. I need to cut back on lab time and focus on my classes and prepare for my qualifier exams. Also, I want to do more study group sessions with my other cohorts and go to the professor's office hours, like emailing and participating in class more so I can ask them for help. 
So that's my recap for my first semester of physics PhD school. Overall, I enjoyed it and learned so much about managing my time, allocating my time between lab, studies, and my personal life. I also learned a lot about work-life balance. I have reflected and I'm ready to use all of these things that I've learned for my next semester. Also, I hope you found this video very helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below in this video and I can get back to you as soon as possible or make a new video about it. So stay tuned by subscribing and liking this video for more PhD content and I'll see you soon. Bye friends!